I'm going to share with you a time where I disappointed this woman. <laughs> so I don't even I, I don't even think I should be telling you this, but this woman was so disappointed in my performance that I saw it on her face. Ooh, to this day, this haunts me. And, and I'm going to share this with you because I trust you. I feel, I feel you and I have, have reached a level where we can talk about things. Yes. Can, 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 I, can I share with you some of these things that are in my mind, my heart? And, and things that I've cried about and how it made me a better business person and how it's going to help you in your beauty business. You don't know me? This is your boy, Wick. Wick, 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 shut up. And if you are new to the group, I do these videos because I have over 20 plus years in the sales and marketing uh, game. I've mentored many businesses. I've worked with the SBA as a consultant and I kind of sort of know what I'm talking about most of the time. I mean, like 99.9 .9 if, if you want to get specific with me. All right, let me tell you this story. This is about 20 years ago and I used to date this gal. Uh, she was Vietnamese. Her name is Thuy and right here in Sacramento. <laughs> and one day, one day she goes, hey, let's go clubbing. And I was like, cool, let's go, girl. She was going to go clubbing with some of her girlfriends. And I was like, okay, I brought one of my boys along with me. And we went uh, clubbing to this joint, I don't even know, a club in Sacramento. I do not know how to dance at that point, right? So I was 21, 22 years old, whatever, could, could not dance. And we went clubbing. So, you know, you go there, got a drink and uh, said, let's go, let's go dance. Right. So her and her girls are dancing, looking all cute. Mm, you know, you know how you, you, you know how you go at the club looking kind of cute. Ooh, ooh. So easy for you women. You, you know what? I don't think there's a, I don't think women can dance wrong. <laughs> like, like, like if you just move a little bit, like, ooh, and you just shake your, shake your, you know, goodies you you can't dance wrong i have yet to see a woman unless she's just trying too hard and then it's different but anyways you just sit there and you just be sexy sexy and you do it. anyways your boy wick here at that time was anything but dancing and so she started she started doing her thing and, and she was a good she was a good dancer <laughs> and here i come i'm like I'm, tr I, I, I'm just doing the worst dance moves ever. And immediately within 60 seconds, I see, she looked at me and she, I could just see the disappointment in her eyes. <laughs> like, she's like, oh no. Right. And, and, you know, she, she, she was still being polite and, but then she kind of got close to me. She goes, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, it's just so bad. I am scarred to this day of, of that moment. Uh, and, and so why am I telling you this story? You know, so we were together for a while. I don't know what happened. I don't know. It was forever ago. But uh, I realized that as a guy that wanted to meet women and be successful in that arena, I needed to learn how to dance. So I didn't know how to dance. I didn't, I wasn't born dancing. I didn't come out of the womb like, hey, go, 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 hey, right? I, it, it, I, it just wasn't me. It wasn't natural. And so went clubbing a couple of times like that and, and had some relation. And, it, you know, it's easy if you're bumping and grinding. That's not even dancing, you know? That's just you holding on to somebody and going in circles and gyrating, if you know what I'm saying. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, it's going to be too business, you know? But, but let's, you know, let's twist it up a little bit. You can hear about some of my failures. And so anyway, that doesn't even count as dancing, you know? You, you, you'd be able to just freestyle and dance. 
And at, at one point I go, you know what? I need to get this thing fixed because I look stupid. I feel stupid. I feel I'm insecure because I can't dance. And I'm, I want to meet women. I want to, you know, we have parties, there's birthdays, there's weddings. So our lives are full of these moments of celebration. And if I don't have this skill, I'm going to be missing out. And I, and I want to be in the middle of it. I want to have fun. And it's not about dance. And to me, it wasn't so much about dancing well. I was like, I wanted to dance well, but I wanted to just be comfortable and secure. So uh, I used to live in a wonderful town called Petaluma. In fact, I still got to go there. I got to check on my house. My house is there. I'm going to Airbnb it or something. I don't know. But uh, so uh, I joined a hip hop dance team, right? So there was a dance team. I got, I got to take, I got to take lessons. I got to take lessons because I suck and I don't want to disappoint more and more women in my life. It's just not good. And so I took these classes and I knew that one, sure, I could have got this information off of YouTube or saw videos. And I think I even tried to do that. But I just knowing me, I knew I needed a little bit more hand holding. And, and I learned something, you know, people who pay, pay attention. So if, if, I, if I was getting it for free, and I was doing it for my living room. I might have done it once and then just stopped doing it. But if I know I have a schedule, it's every Tuesday, Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. And I'm paying 150 bucks a month and to, to be a part and learn how to dance. Uh, you know, I was like, F it, you know, let, let me just figure it out. So I joined this dancing. And I remember when I joined, not when I, when I joined, when you had, to, you had to apply to join. So you had to audition. I had to audition to be a part of the, the team. And that audition was not good. I mean, I mean, you know, if, if you if you as old as me and you remember the Humpty dance, you know, it's your chance to do the hump, right? You know, it was like it, it was just like, oh, just, oh, oh. <laughs> they're like, dude, just let it go. You're just auditioning. It doesn't matter. It was, it was, it was just as embarrassing as that time that I disappointed that, that one gal, as a disappointed tweet, right? Just bad. But, but we all start somewhere. And that's where I, I, my, I started with a vast amount of disappointment in disappointing others. A lot of, I hope he's not having a seizure. And uh, more importantly, it was just like me, right? I wanted to make myself proud and stuff. So anyways, I did that. And I was, just, I stuck with them for about a year, year and a half, two years until they, they shut down or whatever. But let me tell you something. It was literally one of the best decisions I made in my life. Because you can, it, before, you know, like sometimes I've been to some parties or clubs and nobody's dancing or whatever. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't go because I would just wasn't confident. Now I can hear music in the middle of the freaking mall. And I'll be like, girl, let's go bust the loot. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. And it, one thing dancing has taught me being part of it is it wasn't so much always about having the right moves, right? To, you know, it's weird because I could do something like the running man, like, you know, do the running man, right? Do the sprinkler and, and, and all this stuff. And before it was stupid and goofy because I was insecure. But once I knew that I was a decent, I'm not gonna, I still, I'm still not a good dancer, but I can, um, I, you and I go to the club, we'll, we'll, we'll have fun. Let's just say that. So, uh, but, but, but the feeling is, is I became confident. Like I didn't care. Now I can do the sprinkler. I will sprinkle like, 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 I'm like nobody's business. When my sprinkler is on, it's like, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, you'll see the, you'll see the, the facial expressions going on too. Right. Like I'm all in and I'm having fun and I don't give two Fs about who's looking at me, but it was, it's, it's became such an important part of my, my life. Like it literally, my life changed from the, the dude that was disappointing women. <laughs> Sorry to all, if any gal I've ever dated and danced with between the ages of 18 and 22, 23, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> just, just, I'm sorry. So, it, but, but it took me to go and learn that 
to become comfortable with myself, right? So, so one of the things that's really critical in your business is to identify some of the things that you're not good at, right? And be like, hey, I'm not good at this, or I'm not good at this, because ironically, just like dance is a part of celebration, in, in my mind, dance is a part of celebration. So weddings, birthdays, you know, parties, clubs, get togethers, whatever, right? Fundraisers. Yeah. You know, I want to be the guy that's out there having fun. And people are like, dude, look at that fool. I want, I don't know what he's drinking, but I want to be around him and his energy. And, and that's just been critical in every aspect that I do. But with you, it's the same thing. So for example, if you're a little bit insecure on video, go, okay, I want to get good at video. How long do you, do you want to struggle with it, right? How long do you not want to be good at it? You know, do you, do you understand that, that being on video will help your business? So if you're not where you want to be, and, and even, if you're, even if you're doing well, I promise you this, just because I'm in this industry, right? I'm, and I'm watching you and watching everybody in this group that regardless, if you're, do, if you're doing 100 grand, I don't want you to be patting yourself on the back. If you're like, I'm doing great, I'm doing 100 grand. Because, because to be straight up between, like, look at my eyes, like, look at me. If you're doing 100, you should be doing 250, right? If you're doing 30, you should be doing 100. Easy. It's, it's a decision. It's a decision. I decided to invest some of my money and go, I need to get this handled. I need to do it. And, and I understand that people that who pay, pay attention. People who invest in themselves in something that they feel is going to help them, you know, uh, is, is going to work, right? So, so, so that became just critical for me. It changed my life. And from that point on, I just realized, like, now I'm taking martial arts and I'm going to join another gym for networking purposes. I'm, I'm just going gung-ho into this stuff. And, and for you, I want you to look at some of the areas that you wish you were better at and go, I wish I knew how to do this, this, and this. Pick three things, three things, one, two, and three. And I want you to put it on the bottom of my video. One thing I'm doing right now is I'm starting a group uh, it's going to be called Esthetician Business University, Esthetician Business University. And in that, because there's just so much I can teach in this thing right here, right? So in that, it's actually going to be a paid group. And I am going to break things down to where, where within an hour, you're going to learn how do I do a TikTok video within an hour you're going to learn how to do this or, or, you know, something around that point where we break down the steps It's going to have action items and all these things that I feel you could and should do and know better is going to be in there. So, you know, I've been working on this for, for a little bit just because I'm hearing everybody in the group. And I'm like, you know what, first of all, it's just, it's easier than you think. Sometimes you just need to may have a little bit more of a plan and put it together, but more importantly, you know, people who pay, pay attention. I can give you all, and, and even in this group, there's so much information in here. If you just implemented that, you'd be fine. But if you're anything like me, you need a little bit more guidance. You need a little bit more help. You need a little bit more of a structure. And, and to me, that's what I'm working on putting together for you. So it's going to be called Esthetician Business University, because in esthetician school, Y'all probably, a lot, of, a lot of estheticians did not learn the business aspect of it. How do I do a TikTok? How do I do Facebook ads? How do I do Instagram ads? You know, how do I do uh, a pop-up? What's a QR code? How do I do that? You know, and, and just like all of these things, and we're going to put them in the university and have like a monthly subscription. And, and me being me, it's going to be super duper affordable because I want you to win. I want everyone to be able to take advantage of it. So learn from my mistakes. I have invested and continue to invest, literally. I think this year, we're barely in July. I probably spent close to maybe 50 grand, $50,000 on learning new tools, picking up new tools, trying new things, this, that, just always looking at this, trying this, getting, you know, I'll spend like a grand on a program 
just to get like one piece of it. I'm like, okay, I got this, boom. So I want you and your business to do the same go. So think of the top three things that you wish you knew how to do better that if you learned would, would move, your, move the needle for your business in, in the direction that you want to go. Can we do that? All right, put it below. I'll, I'll ask you, but, but remember, uh, half, life is short and learning how to dance, making that investment in myself and spending that little bit of time is literally one of the best investments I've made in my life. I, I believe there's there, like a couple of investments. One, I got LASIK on my eyes like 20 years ago. <laughs> and that was an amazing investment because I had goggles before that. And then, uh, then the dancing, like those learning how to dance, just two of the, some of the best investments I've ever, ever made that have changed my confidence and able to kind of get me going. So put it below. Let me know what you want to learn. Top three things. And let's get to it because life is short. I don't want to see you in this party of life sitting on the side because you don't have the skills to dance and participate. Let's do this together. I got your back. You're amazing. Do this. And if you ever, if you want to dance, you got, hey, you don't got to, if, if no one is dancing, just go, hey, Wick, let's go. And you don't got to ask me twice. One time, poo, because not dancing is a crime. Peace out. Be amazing. Amazing. <laughs>